Now, a local clinic is making progress when it comes to mental health services and our military. Dallas Antiveros, he joins us now live from Mililani with more details. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, everyone. Yes, mental health and military families and a big part of their progress is working with children, which is why we have our friend Karen Tan here who joined us here on Wake Up Today. Wait, you're not Karen. Yeah, wait, this is Karen. Good morning, Karen. How's Good it going? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you. So many fun little puppets and toys out here in this room. Tell us what this space is all about. So this is our play therapy room. And when the Cohen Veterans Network started this clinic, they really wanted to create a room where kids would want to come and play. And and uh, play therapy is so important. And what ages do you usually see come into this room? We serve as, as young as five years old, and we would work with anyone, any child that we that would really enjoy this room. And so if they're young and they want to, uh, we want to connect with them in this way, we bring them in here. All right. Well, let's go ahead and talk about some of the exercises, which is why we have our friend Janet. Good morning, Janet. How's it going? Good morning. Ooh, Great. This is pretty comfy. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So how long is a session when kids come in here? It's about 60 minutes. Okay. So up to an hour, and I uh -huh. see a lot of different toys of course we got puppets also mm -hmm. some playstations as well where people could just or kids mm -hmm. I'm sorry could really just play with these toys and just share their feelings but tell us a little bit about the exercises what is it that you really want to try to get out of children since it's sometimes hard for them to put in words well that's why play therapy is so great because play is the first language for children mm -hmm. and children will tell you so many things about how they're feeling what's going on in their lives things they need help with just by playing with them and you know this is something I want to ask too because I hear this a lot from different friends and family about these pandemic babies mm -hmm. or these cakey who are maybe like three or four years old who have a big you know different childhood experience have you been seeing a lot of children who maybe have challenges with social skills because of what we experienced during the pandemic we have uh, you know kids are are very social beings you know they learn a lot about how to behave what expectations are from peers so during the pandemic they were very isolated and so a lot of them didn't get the opportunity to have these type of socialization skills so we do find that there's some challenges with anxiety. We have some challenges with depression. And we really do want to help kids learn how to live better lives and play helps them a lot with that. Really quickly, what are some signs that maybe parents could look for if their child is maybe experiencing any mental health hardships? Mm -hmm. uh, well, somatic illnesses or stomach aches, headaches, you know, those are, are things that are quite common with children that are experiencing problems. But certainly if your child is saying that they're sad, if you notice that your child is not playing as they normally do, if they're isolating more, if they're not spending time with family and friends, you know, and if they say, I need help, you know, that's really a good opportunity for parents to call us. And that's key right there when it comes to language, right? Because mm -hmm. three or five year olds can only know so much and only put into words. So yeah. any um, language or words to look out for or maybe how to have that conversation with your child? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of it is how they're behaving. The parents of all people really know what their children are feeling and what they're doing. And when you notice a change in your child's behavior, that's an indication that there's something that they may need help with. Mm -hmm. And just hearing a little bit about it, it's great to really just break that stigma conversation also have fun just yes. like this <laughs> so we'll go ahead and give you another look here but if you want some more information as to where to find some services and what to do when it comes to mental health you can visit our website at khon2.com <laughs> reporting out here i'm melani dallas and averos k22 news working for hawaii <laughs> Thank you, Dallas, the ventriloquist. Now, forget Christmas coming up next. Forget Christmas.